Right now at six, a moving moment born out of tragedy. A reunion between a homeless man and a family member who's been looking for him for months. That was the reunion, and this was the tragedy that came before it. You see it right here, a deadly crash, the result of a robbery and then a police chase. KPRC 2's Robert Arnold live this evening in Northeast Houston with a story you'll see all new at 6 o'clock. Robert? A pair of robberies prompted a sheriff's deputy to start chasing the person suspected of committing those crimes. That chase ended when that deputy and another car collided at this intersection. The debris littering this parking lot underscores the impact. A woman was killed during that collision and several people were sent to the hospital. As for the deputy, he had to be pulled from his burning patrol unit. When it comes to a burning car, you go to that burning car. Johnny Lee Walker didn't hesitate to run towards the flames consuming a sheriff's deputy's patrol unit. I'm thinking the car's gonna blow. Let me help this man. If we die, he won't die alone. We'll die together, but let me get him out of this car. Walker helped pull the deputy to safety, but balks at any talk of heroes. I'm hoping any human would be, have that much humanity for another person. As news crews documented the grim events at this intersection, they captured Walker's image, and that led to a family reunion. When I saw the video, um, um, oh my goodness, I can't describe it. <laughs> Walker is homeless, and his family hadn't heard from him since Thanksgiving. Yeah. Monica Collins is his little sister. We thought he had passed away. After filing a missing persons report, searching hospitals, the morgue, and city streets, oh, no. Collins and their mother finally saw Walker on the news. He was telling us that last night he was even questioning his very existence. You know, he's had a troubled past. But Walker says today, everything is different. He's with his family and believes all the twists and turns of his life led him to this moment. I've been beating myself up because I've been homeless so long, but I had to go through all that to get to this. If I wasn't homeless, I wouldn't have been here. So I don't regret nothing day of my life anymore. Walker's family has set up a GoFundMe account to help him get long-term help. We have links to that information on our website, click2houston.com. As for the woman killed during this crash, it appears the medical examiner has identified that woman, but we're trying to get in touch with her family before passing along that name. As for the person who started all of this, that suspected robber, he is still on the run. Reporting live from Northeast Houston, Robert Arnold, KPRC 2 News.